Hey guys, I just was really inspired to make this video because I, I personally, I love Tiffany & Co. so much and every time I want to buy another jewelry item from them, I'm constantly finding myself searching on YouTube and nothing that I want to watch pops up and usually no one really posts updated or review videos of Tiffany & Co. I thought I would post um, just a quick video on one of their most popular pieces. So, so it's a three and a half year update of one of their most popular pieces and I've gone through a lot with this piece so I thought I would just post a little update. So let's open the box. The box is still in very good condition. And then the jewelry item actually comes right out of here. And basically, it's... Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be reviewing the Please Return to Tiffany & Co. heart necklace. So I'll just leave this over here. Please Return to Tiffany classic pendant. Now, about the pricing, um, I think Tiffany & Co. is a reasonable price because it is not as expensive as, let's just say, like Harry Winston. So I got this necklace right here for my 13th birthday and over the course of three years it has held up so incredibly strong. Last time I checked on the website I think it's around $150. I just want to kind of go over um, like the value and how it's held up and you know what I've done with it, what's happened to it and just everything like that. So. The first, um, like the first week or two weeks that I got it I was wearing it every day and then I kind of stopped because it was turning black. And with a lot of Tiffany & Co. jewelry, you can kind of expect that. So then I got it cleaned, right? So the cleaning costed $20. I started wearing it again. However, it was not completely, um, it was not completely back to this nice silver color I wanted. Anyways, so my necklace was just tarnishing and I was so fed up with it. I was like, you know what, like I'm over this, I can't, I. I'm not enjoying this necklace. I wear my silver earrings every day from Tiffany & Co. They don't have a tarnishing problem. They're so clean and they're so silver and so shiny. So I was like, well, I mean, I'll just wear the necklace. So I started wearing the necklace and I realized that the more you wear your Tiffany jewelry, the nicer it looks. Now what was happening was every single day that I would wear this necklace, there would, actu there would actually be less tarnishing. And... Then I started wearing it a little more my junior year. I just think it's a very beautiful necklace. It's just so classy and it's so dainty and it's just beautiful. And you could see how shiny it is. It's just reflecting the light and it's just so shiny. So again, in conclusion, my three-year update is just it's held up well. If you are like, oh, I do want a piece of nice jewelry, I completely, completely wholeheartedly recommend you try Tiffany & Co. Because... It's such a nice piece to kind of just dip your hands in if you want to experiment. I just think as my three-year update, it's held up phenomenally. The tarnishing was a problem, but again, you need to wear your jewelry, especially silver, because the less you wear it, the more it'll tarnish. And I thought I was preserving it by not wearing it, but you, you should be wearing your jewelry. But I think the necklace is amazing, and I definitely recommend it. And for three years... It's so good. So I guess what I'm trying to say is three-year update held up amazingly. I recommend you get it. The price point is unbeatable and it's a beautiful and dainty necklace. So again, thank you for watching. I hope this review was a little educational and kind of filled the vacancy on YouTube with Tiffany & Co. videos. So definitely let me know um, just your thoughts and if you want more because I have other Tiffany jewelry pieces I could review. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a beautiful day.